Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English Writing Requirement Introduction video. This is Man from the ELC. In this video, I'm going to tell you what EWR is and the role of ELC. Then we'll be going through the whole process of EWR. There will also be a quick Blackboard tour to show you where you can find all the important EWR documents. First, what is EWR? EWR stands for the English Writing Requirement. Students like you who are taking car subjects with EWR will have to write an assignment of at least 2,500 words in English. Understanding how challenging it could be for students, we, the ELC, step in to help. Through working with us, you will develop your writing skills by submitting multiple drafts of the assignment and exploring some extra online resources. Altogether, you will have to write three drafts. Draft 1 to be submitted to the ELC, Draft 2 to the ELC again, and the final draft to your CAR subject teacher. For each of the two drafts that you submit to us, there will be an ELC teacher reading your writing and giving you feedback comments in the form of a feedback report. Based on these comments, you're expected to make revisions, so at the end, a better final draft can be written for your subject teacher. Once you submit your second draft, you will also receive a grade from your ELC teacher, which accounts for 10% of your course grade. Your ELC teacher will be there to guide you through the process of writing and help you understand the type of writing required in your assignment by providing specific comments and feedback reports, which we have mentioned, and offering consultations. These are face-to-face -face meetings where you can meet your ELC teacher and ask questions. Before I talk about the details, let's take a look at the big picture. This flowchart shows the whole process of EWR. First, you are here now, watching this introduction video. Later, there will be an EWR assignment orientation where your subject teacher, together with an ELC liaison person, will tell you more about the assignment and answer any questions you have about EWR. Submit your draft in the week shown on the screen. After the submission due date, you can book a consultation. This consultation is optional, so whether or not you book us, you will receive a feedback report with your ELC teacher's written comments on it. Afterwards, you attain the consultation that you have booked. Then the same cycle repeats. You submit your draft to, book us for a consultation if you want to, read the draft to feedback report, and attain the consultation. Now, the details. Submit your draft in the week shown on the screen. For specific date and time, please refer to the EWR Blackboard site. Before the deadline, please submit your work to the EWR Blackboard site. This draft should be 700 words long. You have to submit your draft with a cover page and a checklist. Don't worry, I'll show you what they are in a minute. For draft two, you need to write 1,500 words. Again, please submit your work with a cover page and a checklist. You will also be asked to complete a reflection form online when you do the submission. This is a simple form that you should fit in to tell us more about your writing experience. Okay, we asked you to submit a cover page and a checklist with your drafts. So what is a checklist? An assignment checklist is a list of items that you're expected to include in your assignment drafts. It is a useful tool developed by your subject teacher and the ELC for your reference. Here is a sample checklist. What you should do is to read it before you start writing to get a general idea of what you're expected to write. Use it while writing to ensure you're addressing your assignment requirements. Then complete and submit it with your draft. This is what feedback reports will look like. On these reports, you will see comments from your ELC teacher on your draft 1 and draft 2, respectively. When a feedback report is released, you will get an email from us telling you to go and check it out on the Blackboard site. What you need to do is to download and read it carefully, prepare questions if you're going to a consultation, and of course, plan your revisions accordingly. Each student has two chances to book a consultation, one for the first draft, the other for the second draft. These consultations are optional, first come first served, and 30 minutes long. 
The booking is done online via our Blackboard site. There can be up to two students attending the same section. However, if you want to come with a friend, both you and your friend will need to book us separately. Please note that the booking or cancellation closes at 6 p.m. the day before the consultation. So if you do not need a consultation anymore, please cancel it online or else your teacher will be waiting for you. If you forget to cancel, you will also be losing your chance for a consultation. And remember, you only have two chances throughout the semester. If you're coming for a consultation, remember to bring your own draft and prepare questions to ask. Okay, here comes the most interesting part, how to fail the ELC component. Students will receive zero mark from the ELC if they do any of these. If they fail to submit both drafts to the ELC, they get a zero. If they fail to submit either draft one or two, they get a zero. Also, if a student submits both drafts, but the drafts look the same, then he or she will get a zero as well, as there is no evidence of revision. The mark out of 10 is given to draft two based on task fulfillment, organization, language, and revision. Revision is measured based on comments given in first draft feedback report. Your ELC teacher will look back at the comments he or she has given you before and see whether you have really improved your draft two according to these comments. Now, here is a list of issues to avoid when submitting drafts to us. Number one, do not submit a Mac file. Make sure your draft is a Word document file. Number two, submit your work to the correct site. There are two Blackboard sites that you will use for this course. One will be the normal subject Blackboard site. The other one, which we'll look at later, will be the English Writing Requirement Blackboard site where you submit your drafts one and two. Number three, if you plan to travel, make sure you submit your work before leaving Hong Kong. Number four, in previous semesters, some students lost their drafts and therefore had to write their final draft from the beginning again. So remember to back up your own drafts. Number five, submit your draft earlier to avoid any last minute technical problem Multiple submission is allowed before the deadline. We've also come across blank files before, which were treated as non-submissions. Therefore, you should download your submitted file from the site and try to open it to make sure the submission is correct. Next, let me show you where you can find all the EWR documents on our Blackboard site. Okay, now we're at the EWR Blackboard site. This is the site that you will use to submit your drafts to the ELC. This is also where you can find important information about your EWR assignment. Today, I'm going to show you a few useful tabs. First, if you click into important dates, you will see a weekly schedule of the whole EWR process, telling you when the drafts will be due and which weeks the consultations will take place. Subject information is where you can look at subject-related documents, including the course outline. Next, you'll see Writing Assignment, the most important tab I would say. Click into it and you'll see everything about the assignment. On top, you'll find the assignment guidelines that we developed together with your subject teacher. The guidelines show what you need to know about the assignment, for example, the deadlines, the word requirements for each draft, the organizational and referencing requirements, etc. So this will be a document that you should refer to when you write your drafts. Also at the writing assignment are the checklists. When you open this, you will see a cover page and a checklist. When you submit your first draft, you will make use of this cover page, complete the checklist, and write your 700 words here. Then submit the whole file to us as a Word document. There's a checklist for the first draft and another one for the second draft. Beneath writing assignment, you'll see English writing workshops and writing labs. Writing workshops are delivered by the EWR team. They aim at helping you to understand your assignment and plan your drafts. If you're interested in joining these workshops, you can refer to the details on the posters. 
Writing labs are one-hour sections during which you can talk to a writing teacher. Different from the EWR consultations, no booking is required. You can check the availability of these labs here on the calendar. If you want to attend a section, just bring your drafts, prepare your questions, and go to the venue on time. The last tab I'll talk about is the EW Consultation Registration tab. Click into it, and you'll be led to the booking site where you book a consultation. If this is the first time you book us, please register for an account. Okay, that's it for today. Later in your lecture, there will be an assignment orientation. An ELC liaison person will be there to answer any questions you have, so remember to attend that lecture. You're also welcome to contact us anytime. Simply click Contact Us here, and then EWR team, find a liaison person responsible for your subject, and contact him or her via email. Thank you for watching. We hope you have an enjoyable writing experience with us.